apps and all, but in this video, I'm going to explain about three developments. So three developments and what is the requirement and uh, how did we do it, okay? So I'm trying to explain one report and two enhancements. So the requirement is if you go to our MB51 transaction, you don't see the material group, okay? So MB51 didn't provide the material group as a one of the input fields. So if you see SAP standard MB51, you don't have the material group field in the input. Okay. So, but the business wanted to get the list of material documents based on the material group. Okay. So they don't, they want to have that certain material group related, how many, uh, how much they received this month, like that they want to have a report. So then uh, that is one requirement and also based on serial number profile. For example, they wanted to know that uh, how many serial number related materials they received a certain month or they want to see only the goods movements related to serial number. So for those two requirements, SAP standard didn't provide. So what we have done, MB51, uh, initially we thought to en enhance that MB51 and add the files, but because of certain other reasons, I took a decision to have uh, copied that MB51, and then we developed this, um, see here, two new fields are added, material group and serial number profile. So business can give serial number profile not equal to blank, or they can give the, the respect to serial number profile. So system will give the, all the material documents related to serial numbers. And based on material group also, if they give the material group, system will give the list of material documents related to that uh, material group. So as a functional, what we have to do? So this is the requirement as per the business requirement, material documents need to be shown uh, as per the material group and serial number profile. Standard MB51 doesn't have material group, so new field is added, it's same for serial number profile. So, we have given the material group MERA, METKL is the material group field, and the table is MERA. A serial number profile is in MERC, SCRNP. So while passing the data, what Evapor has done that one, the serial number profile will be included in MERC. For example, they give the plant, that plant, and uh, list of materials. For example, without serial number profile, you are getting 100 materials, and they include serial number profile also, they will loop into that. Like we know that like query, right? So this field will be uh, loop into that uh, combination. So serial number profile and plant combination. For example, without serial number profile, they got 100. With serial number profile, they may get 22 materials. Okay. Same way for material group. Without any material group, they got 100. When they give material group, they might be getting only 12, which are related to that material group. So here requirement is, this is just an example we have done for one of the clients. You can, uh, anything which are the fields which is not available, but business can request, okay, at that point of time, we can have this one. Any questions? This is like a report, but uh, kind of a little enhancement also, They're not little, it kind of. So in our rise of W, this is coming under report. I gave under report because most of the requirement is for report, but we have done enhancement also, right? We added the fields in the existing SAP standard report, but overall it's kind of a report. So uh, more flavor to reports I gave as a development type report. Business requirement and uh, you can say development details. At high level, few details I have given. So, now, if you go to the second development, it is enhancement. What enhancement you have done? Business wanted to maintain info record, creation and change in bulk. What you do with M11, right? They want to do with a bulk. So this is an enhancement. The text is visible, right? Or can I increase the size? Hmm. Yeah, it's visible. Okay. So uh, if you see that uh, enhancement, this is part of enhancement. What is the business requirement? Info records need to be created in bulk as per the upload template, okay? As per the 
uh, data uploaded in the given template. Okay. So business requirement you understand, right? It's is a genuine requirement or is there any SAP standard solution for you? I'm asking question to you. Do you have any other standard solution without developing this one? Uh, no, this is kind of new requirement only. Okay. So the business wanted to maintain uh, multiple materials and the condition records and all whatever details they want to maintain, they can give it. Even one of the other clients also I have done, uh, even the fields are more, okay? So here the development details wise, input screen has to be like this. Okay? You should have one radio button to download the template. And um, second one is for the upload the template. Okay. So here, why these kind of input fields are available? Mostly for uh, changing, they want to change specific data, okay? And um, in that cases only, it can be helpful. And also for authorization maintenance, it's more helpful, okay? So what is authorization, Ganesh? For example, in one of other clients also, we have done uh, directly upload without this data. So authorization is still you control, but while uploading, it will go. And while creating, system will give authorization error. You, can, you are not authorized to purchase an organization, something. You are not authorized to plant, okay? So what we have done, we put the in, in the input fields itself. So during role creation for this transaction code, in the authorization object, we added that purchasing organization, plant and all. So if you are giving something irrelevant purchasing organization, while clicking execute itself, system will throw error. You are not authorized for this purchasing organization. So that's the reason we put that purchasing organization plant and also it is useful for filtration of data also. If you upload uh, old file, anything, multiple files also, still you can filter based on this one, okay? So if you want to create only for specific vendor, you can give the vendor also. So the file may have 10 vendors, but system will show you output only one vendor if you give the vendor, okay? So that's the main reason they were asking for that requirement. And if they don't want any filter, uh, we ask them to use star in the vendor field. Okay. Okay. The template, uh, I have highlighted the fields like this. And we know, right, while uploading, we will put it into that uh, horizontal way, not like vertical. Just for understanding wise, I put it in vertical. Purchasing organization, material, plant, vendor, the gross price, currency, valid start and valid end date, purchase group, hmm? all the important fields. You can add vendor material number, uh, it's there. So if you want to add some more discount and all also, we added. In one of other clients, we added some seven, eight uh, condition types, okay? Because they want to have a lot of pricing changes and all. Based on a requirement, you can add it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what the development details? Input screen, we have to ask the app to have input screen and you have to give the field names of all the uh, data. For example, mm, what kind of uh, field names, purchasing organization. So where it is available, how do you give the table and fields? For example, slash M, let's see, 16 We have mainly two tables, right? A and E. Okay. A and E, purchasing organization, plant, everything is available in A and E. A and E will have the material, Okay, info record number. Those details are available here. LIF, no. Okay, supplier. See, as for Hana, he is showing supplier. If you open ECC, you will see vendor. Okay, so ENA, ENE, the logic we need to give. Okay, what are the data and all. So for example, so while giving the logic, we give this one field, purchasing organization. So for example, like this, okay. we, we, we give like uh, purchasing arc, okay. table is EA, 
एन ई ई के ओ आर जी डेटा टाइप कैरेक्टर लेंथ फोर ओके सो फील नेम फील नेम डेटा टाइप कैरेक्टर लेंथ इज फोर सो हाउ टू गेट द डेटा एलिमेंट एंड ऑल गो टू स्लैश एन एस सी इलेवन डी नो दिस वन विच टेबल एन वी डिस्प्ले सो समथिंग mandatory or optional range or single okay understand what is this to mandatory yeah uh, is that field is mandatory or ah, not ah mandatory or not re so like this we can prepare uh, we prepare like this okay for all table and uh, things we prepare for all input fields we have to prepare like this ye and e plan purchasing organization plant okay? those things like for example plant wr case wr case character or plant you can keep it my uh, optional because for example few of my clients uh, they don't maintain info record at plant level okay so they want to have only at the purchasing organization level because they want to have a same price across the company few companies they go for a plant level so based on business requirement which is correct no one can tell which is correct correct mm -hmm. based on the business requirement only we need to do that one so like this we have to give the input fields and output fields also what are the list of fields okay those things we can see for output we will not have a mandatory optional one these remaining things will be there So I'm not going to the FS preparation level and all. Then each development uh, we need to take some one one and a half hour session. Okay, so I'm giving like a high level how you can prepare this respect to enhancement. Clear, right? Yes. So are we fields. going to give hmm. any logic for this? Yeah, I'm going to come to next level. So you have to explain that uh, I need to have a template. The template should have these all the fields. Okay. For all those fields, also we have to provide similar way. Okay, what is the table and all those things we need to provide for the list of fields. Then template we have given input fields also, which is mandatory, which is optional. Those details we need to highlight. Okay, this is the one main point I want to highlight. We have to tell that uh, info record according to my. Experience like twelve years of experience. Uh, I I work for info record programs. Maybe I think maybe some eight nine different projects we use it info record. Always we use BDC. You know one more surprise thing. Currently uh, ECCT S four Hana migration is happening. I was curious mm -hmm. that most of the my during migration all BDC programs are uh, commenting or removing that code and they are in replacing with. BAPI or function module. Mm -hmm. I was uh, curious to ask the, the developer that uh, what we have done for info record. Okay, so still info record they are using BDC. They tried to use certain kind of thing, but BDC is only working uh, well for uh, info record. But this is only a person's experience or uh, two three projects experience. But uh, any other better things are coming in as Pohana. Then we need to. Uh, what you call investigate and further uh, verification. But according to my experience in ECC, BDC we use always for info record uh, program creation. Okay, so you know about SSDB, right? Even on our YouTube also we have um, 
SSDB. You can watch that video. So we record the session, like how we do in LSNW. We record all the session things, and then we give that recording number. For example, here uh, there is something recording is there. Okay, so like how that uh, this recording by using this record they will do the program. Okay, if you watch our SSDB video on YouTube, you can understand that um, how to record a session, and then we give this record number only to the web app. So okay. based on that, they will create a program in the backend. So we have given as a functionality, what is the business requirement? Why we are, why are we doing this one? And what are the input details? What is user download template? When I click radio button and click on uh, execute, you have to give radio button only, not the checkbox, correct? Only one option need to be selected. It should be radio button. Download the template and click execute. So system needs to download the template. And after uploading, they, uh, I want to have a file path like this and upload it okay you can use uh, even the files can be put it into a file there is a transaction called file right there also you can put it and path you can give or else you can directly upload from the desktop two options you can say what was that i'm talking about there is a t code called file okay so in this file transaction you can uh, create a file path in that file path also we put the file so if you give the file, from there also you can upload. But most of these kind of transactions, we use uh, desktop upload only. When do you use file path? Do you have an idea? No. Okay. For example, there is another system is sending the data. Based on that data, you are creating info record. Then what we do? We give the file path here, remaining all data, and uh, execute manually, or else a background job we can run for every day. Okay, so that file will be filled by third party. Okay, so for example, mm -hmm. uh, if you take um, so the third party can keep the data, for example, third party system is there. Third party system. Based on our template data, it will keep the file. All the data will be put it in the application server. And the SAP, uh, we give the file, right? File in transaction and execute it. So the file will be keep on updated by based on the information from third party system. Third party system means it can be vendor is sending you the latest prices. Okay. Or else you are having a separate system to manage all your purchase prices. They just fill the material quantity based on our template. So the file will be daily updated. You, when you run every day, night, 10, 11 p.m., they will collect the file from morning onwards. Morning, 10 o'clock, they uploaded uh, some four vendors for material data. Afternoon, they uploaded some 20. So all file will be there with some 80 lines. Let's take an example. At 11 o'clock, when we run, 11 or 11.50, we get the file and we uh, yeah, upload it. Clear? Just I'm giving uh, like what kind of different options you can manage it. Mm -hmm. So this is an enhancement business requirement to create bulk info records, creation and change. Both you can do. You have to create in that way. Okay. Change another T code, creation another T code, not like that. Creation or change, you can do it. And um, development details was BDC is using in the back end to create the program. As a function consultant, you have to tell what fields I want, what are the technical field name, data element, data type, length, everything you get in SC11, you have to provide. And for the input, if you are keeping certain kind of fields for filtration, you need to tell which field is mandatory, which field is optional, which field is single entry, which field are multiple entries. You can see here, purchasing organization is single entry and the plants are multiple entries. Okay. Mm. Yes. You can watch the video again, you will get a better clarity to explain what, how the respect enhancement can be done.